256 million children who are out of school in very underprivileged communities. That's an estimated quarter billion children around the world who don't have access to basic literacy and numeracy. I've been to the field. Those villages are very, very remote. Schools are very, very far. So some of the children, well, they've never got an opportunity to go to school. I call them the unreached. We launched the Global Learning X Prize to inspire innovators all over the world to create open source learning software so that children have access to learning wherever they are. If really we can establish that the software is successful in teaching children without access to school, the experiment could lead to a breakthrough in covering many, many, many children everywhere. The Global Learning X Prize has a $15 million prize purse sponsored by Elon Musk. The grand prize winner will be determined by which software application has the largest learning gains in reading, writing, and math within a 15-month period. This is the first X Prize that is open source. The idea here is to provide the tools, the data, the resources for anyone in any cultural context to build upon that and make it their own. We're saying here are the tools for you to build what you think is best for your community. There is no blueprint for what we have done. We had about 2,700 total children in our field test, and those children were spread across 150 treatment villages and about 20 control villages. We went to Tanzania, identified kids that didn't know how to read, write, or any types of math. We had to go install solar panels so we can charge the tablets. Then when we identified the five finalists, then we put those solutions on these tablets, gave it to each child, and then determined how they did. It was really important for us to work with a series of partners to make this happen. The first partner that comes to mind is Google. Google donated 8,000 Pixel C tablets for this project. The World Food Program and UNESCO were there to help with all of the elements of our field test. We've been able to deploy infrastructure into some of the most remote parts of Tanzania. Anything related to the hardware and software and the logistics uh, was handled by WFP. The last partner in country is UNESCO. UNESCO really allowed us to have the entryway into Tanzania to make those connections and be a trusted partner in that way. We have about 300 people working on the ground in Tanzania. We had people going around on motorcycles who would troubleshoot any issues with tablets or solar stations, but also collecting the data. You had village mamas who helped set up a, a safe environment for the children to kind of learn. District officials, regional officials, WFP staff, so you take UNESCO, you take the government of Tanzania, you take WFP, you take XPRIZE all the way over here, and you have an interesting cast of characters that somehow pulled off this project successfully. We could not have done this without the support of our benefactors, our sponsors, who put their money and attention into making sure this would happen. They didn't want any recognition. They didn't want to be publicized greatly. They felt like this is something they wanted to do for the altruistic value. So we can't thank them enough. The question we set out to answer, can children learn on their own using adaptive software? Can they be taught reading, writing, and basic math? The answer is yes. This prize has opened the eyes of many children who otherwise would have not known what it is like to get even simple education. They are feeling excited, they are feeling awesome, they feel like they are winners because they participate in the project. This kid, from where they was, they were no hope of becoming someone. But now I think we can have nurses, we can have lawyers. Now the kids are able to read, now the kids are able to write. Even some now they've been motivated themselves now to go back to school. Children will not be the same again. No matter who wins this competition, we have shown that children can learn using this technology, that children who otherwise wouldn't have access to learning, that they have the opportunity to unleash their potential. We have the technology, we have the tools to do it, now we just need to do it. Tanzania.